As a general idea, I tell people 30 to 50 grams of protein in each meal, eating, let's say, two to three times a day, you know, that's going to get you somewhere between, you know, what, what roughly 60 to 150 grams of protein, which is pretty good range to focus on. But let's go by weight, 100 to 125 pounds, you don't need as much protein, okay? 20 to 30 grams should be fine. If you're under 100 pounds, like, you know, if you're thinking about your 10-year-old child that weighs 75 pounds, they might need 15 to 20 grams of protein in a meal, to hit that leucine threshold. 100, 125 pounds, roughly 20 to 30 grams. Okay, 125 to 150 pounds, roughly 25 to 35 grams per meal. And then going off the day, if you're 100 to 125 pounds, roughly 70 to 100 grams over the course of a day. 70 to 100 grams of protein a day. If you're 125 to 150 pounds, roughly 80 to 120 grams of protein in a day. If you go up to like your body weight and protein, so if you weigh 150 pounds, eat 150 grams of protein, great. I mean, there's not really gonna be consequences to that. The only consequences to eating protein is are if you don't have a restricted time eating window. Meaning, if you're eating protein from 7 a.m., you have your first meal, and you're eating every three to four hours until 10 p.m. at night, 11 p.m. at night, that's a problem. Okay, now if you're a bodybuilder and you're really trying to put on a lot of muscle, that works. You will, you will, it will help you put on muscle. However, you'll also increase the overall inflammatory activity in your body. You'll increase the amount of senescent or old aged damaged cells. So I don't recommend that. I recommend a tighter eating window. Let's say you're eating your meals in a 10 hour eating window from let's say 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. or maybe an eight hour window from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So an eight hour window that is gonna give your body time while you're fasting, while you're not eating, to go th undergo autophagy and to break down the senescent mitochondria, the age-damaged zombie cell mitochondria, zombie cells in your body. Get rid of all those, uh, those damaged cells so you don't end up replicating them and causing chronic disease processes in your body. So compress your eating window, but make sure you're hitting your protein levels during the meals that you're consuming. So going back here, 150 to 200 pounds. So I'm in this range, I'm about 170 pounds. I aim for 30 to 50 grams or more of protein in a meal. A lot of times I get a lot more than that because I'm also lifting weights, I'm very active and that's gonna increase the amount of protein my body needs to recover. And, and you're going for roughly 100 to 150 or more grams of protein in a day. Okay, and then if you're over 200 pounds, it's roughly the same, 30 to 50 grams, 100 to 150 grams of protein a day. Now, if you're over 200 pounds full of muscle, you might need a little bit more protein. If you're over 200 pounds, but you're like, hey, I'm 30% body fat, I wanna get, I wanna drop 5%, 10%, 15% body fat, depending on if you're male or female and your health goals, then sticking in this range is usually good because you don't want to overconsume overall calories. And sometimes if you're consuming 200, 250 grams of protein, 200 grams of protein is roughly 800 calories right there. For most people, if you're looking to lose weight, you wanna bring your calories to roughly 2,000, 2,500, somewhere in that range. Um, if you're a large person, maybe, uh, maybe less. And so oftentimes if you're over consuming the protein, you might be over consuming overall calories. Although that can be hard to do because when you are consuming a lot of protein, you tend to have more satiation, less cravings, less desiring food, lower appetite. So um, you tend to stay in a good calorie, overall calorie range. You also have lower levels of insulin. Insulin is your fat storage hormone. So when insulin's more stable, you tend to obviously burn fat more effectively for fuel. So usually going higher on protein is not gonna cause problems as long as you keep it in that time-restricted window. That's really where the magic happens.